Hello, how are you all? Today we are going to talk about another tree diagram problem and find probability using tree diagram. So I'll share my screen with you. A jar has 11 balls, eight green and three red balls. Draw the two balls at a time without replacement. Without replacement means after you draw the first ball, you do not replace it back in the jar before you draw the second ball. The following is a tree diagram for this experiment. The process of drawing ball is done two times. The number at the end of each branches show the corresponding probabilities. Uh, so part A says find probability of R, R. So, the first thing we will do is create some space for us. Okay. And then we will create a different ink for us. Okay, so part A, find P, R, R. So we go for the branch, which has R on the first row and R on the second row, and its probability is six out of 110. So A, let me write this solution. A is P, R, R, which is R first right, and then R again. Now the probability of R in the first draw is three out of 11, and probability of R in the second draw is two out of 10. Why? Because if you've got a red ball in the first draw, you did not replace it back. So there are two red balls left in the jar, and there are total 10 balls in left in the jar. So probability of R, R is a multiplication of these two probabilities is three, times 11, uh, 3 out of 11 in the first draw multiplied by six, uh, 2 out of 10. So 3 out of 11 multiplied by 2 out of 10. Why do we multiply these events, the probabilities of these events? Because these events are independent. Whether you draw red on the first draw will not influence whether you draw red on the second draw also. Therefore, drawing red on the first draw and drawing red on the second draw, these two events are independent. And we find the uh, combination of R and R, the joint uh, probability. Red on the first draw and red on the second draw, we multiply the two probabilities. It is uh, 6 out of 110, which in using our calculator is 6 divided by 110 is 0 0.0545. So you can simplify it to 0 0.0545. You might make it 5, okay? Or 0 0.055. Part B, find R, probability of R, G. That means R on the first draw and G on the second draw or G, green on the first draw and red on the second draw. So these are two events that do not happen at the same time. Therefore, they do not intersect. They do not have any common area. So you add the individual's probability. Now, probability of R and G again is 8 times 3, 24, divided by 11 times uh, 10 is 110. So, R and G. R and G is 3 times 8, 24, divided by 11 times 10 is 110. So, it's 24 out of 110. And the next one is also 8 times 3, 24, out of 110 which is 48 out of 110, which is equal to 48 divided by 110, 
which is 0.436. So this is 0 0.436. Okay. Part C, find probability red on the first row and green on the second row. Red on the first row and then green. So again, these two events are independent. So you draw it like this, red on the first row, first row. So this is the joint event, but these two events are independent. So you multiply their corresponding probabilities. Green on the second row, on the second row. Independent means whether you get red on the first row will not influence whether you get green on the second row. So that's why red on the first row and green on the second row, these two events are independent. So red on the first row is 3 out of 11 multiplied by green on the second row is 8 out of uh, 10. Why 10? Because you have gotten red on the first draw, you did not replace it back. So now there are 10 balls left uh, in the jar out of which 8 are green. So 3 times 8 is 24 divided by 110, which is 24 divided by 110 is 0 0.218. 0 0.218. And then I draw the, do the second one, and the last one I mean, create some space. Part D says find the probability of getting R on the second draw. given this line is given we have green on the first row on the first row okay. so from the definition of the condition so given means conditional that green happened first conditional event this is conditional probability actually Conditional probability. And this is equal to R on the second draw. So this is probability of R on the second draw. I'm sorry. R on the second draw and green on the first draw. First draw divided by probability of green on the first draw. This is the definition of conditional probability. Now, probability of R on the second draw is given you have green on the first row is three red balls left because you have taken only one green ball in the first row so total number of balls now left is three out of ten and green on the first row is eight out of eleven that is the probability so it is three divided by ten multiplied by and the denominator numerator gets transposed. So the denominator becomes a numerator, which is 11 multiplied by, I mean, divided by 8. So it's basically 33 divided by 80. Okay. So again, let's create some more space. So 33 divided by 80. And that is equal to 
33 divided by 80. 33 divided by 80 is equal to 0 0.4125, which you can round to 0 0.413. So again, red on the second draw, given green on the first draw, we will use the definition of the conditional probability, which is the intersection in the numerator, red on the second draw and green on the first draw. Probability divided by green on the first draw has happened first, so probability of green on the first draw in the denominator. Now, red on the second draw and green on the first draw is probability for red is 3 out of 10. And probability of green on the first draw is 8 out of 11. So 3 divided by 10 divided by 8 out of 11 is equal to 3 divided by 10 from the numerator multiplied by the denominator becomes transposed. The new 11 comes in the numerator and 8 goes in the denominator. Or 3 times 11 in the numerator, which is 33, divided by 10 times 8 in the denominator, which is 80, which is 0.413. So I will stop here today. If you have a question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a hearty thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it so that uh, they can watch it and you and your friends can subscribe um, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And I appreciate that. And I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.